In this video tutorial, I'll be looking at 6.1 second cosecant cotangent. 6.1 represents chapter 6, section 1 of the Pearson A level maths, pure maths year 2 textbook. Right, first of all, I'm going to start off with second x, which is called sec x in short. Sec x is equal to 1 over cos x. The next one is cosecant x. You can just call it cosec x. That is equal to 1 over sine x. The third one is cotangent x. You can just call it cot x. That is equal to 1 over tan x. Have a look at these three very carefully, ladies and gents. Something very juicy is happening over here. I'm going to underline the third letter for each of sec x, cosec x, and cot x. C, 1 over cos x. S, 1 over sin x. T, 1 over tan x. That's the way to memorize this. Just have a look at the third letter. For the first one, cos x is not equal to 0. Because if cos x is equal to 0, you will have 1 divided by 0, which you cannot do. You'll get mass error on your calculator. For the second one, sin x is not equal to 0. Third one, tan x is not equal to 0. Let's have a look at the third one very carefully. 1 over tan x. That there can be written as 1 over sin x over cos x. This ER simplifies to give me cos x over sin x, where sin x is not equal to 0, because then you'll have cos x divided by 0, mass error. These are called reciprocal trigonometric functions. Now let's recap radians and degrees. The first one is pi radians, that's equivalent to 180 degrees. Therefore, 2 pi will be 360 degrees, and so on. I'm going to write down the very important radian degrees relationships. So the next one I can write uh, is pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, pi over 4, 45 degrees, pi. Uh, sorry, 3 pi over 2, 270 degrees, pi over 3, 60 degrees, pi over 6, 30 degrees. Very important. Suppose in the exam, you're solving a problem and you end up with something like cos 17, which you need to calculate, cos 17 degrees. Over here, you're calculating a trig of an angle. Very important, have a look at the angle. In this case, it is in degrees. Make sure you put your calculator on degree mode. The next one, you could have something like sine 17 radians. Over here, the angle is in radians. Make sure you put your calculator on radian mode. Here are two exam questions. The first one says, show that cot 30 degrees multiplied by cosec 30 degrees is equal to 2 square root 3. Second exam question says, show that cosec 2 pi over 3 plus sec 2 pi over 3 is equal to a plus b square root 3, where a and b are constants to be found. Let's have a look at the first exam question. What I can observe from the first exam question is that the angle is in degree mode, therefore I must put my calculator in degree mode. Let's tackle this problem. The very first step is to write down LHS, left hand side, which is this one over here, cot 30 degrees multiplied by cosec 30 degrees. Now cot 30 degrees is 1 over tan 30 degrees multiplied by cosec 30 degrees is 1 over sine 30 degrees. Now, I know that 1 over tan 30 degrees is square root 3 multiplied by 1 over sine 30 degrees is 2. So, I get 2 square root 3, which is precisely the right-hand side. There you go. That completes the question. 
Let's have a look at the second exam question. I start off by writing LHS, left hand side, which is this part over here. Cosec 2 pi over 3 plus sec 2 pi over 3. Now cosec 2 pi over 3, I know it's 2 over 3 square root 3. And sec 2 pi over 3 is minus 2. I can rewrite this as minus 2 plus 2 over 3 square root 3. Okay, and then read off my a and b. So my a is minus 2 and my b is equal to 2 over 3. And that completes this question. If you found this video tutorial useful, ladies and gents, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video.